Six Dr. Seuss books are no longer being published because, according to the company, of their hurtful portrayal of people. 2228 Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Rogers dropped by a library in Northumberland and shows us whether they'll be removing those books from their shelves. Dr. Seuss is an international icon. If you show a kid this red and white striped hat, many will recognize it from the cat in the hat. But a deeper message is being analyzed within these books. Many of us grew up flipping through the pages of Dr. Seuss books. As soon as children can talk, they walk in and they'll see our Dr. Seuss character, you know, our cat in the hat, and they recognize it. Kim King sees children come in and out of Priestley Forsyth Memorial Library reading books written by Dr. Seuss. It's intergenerational that a child can talk to their grandparent or great-grandparent, and the parent will, you know, they will know who Dr. Seuss is. She was surprised to hear six of his books would no longer be published. Dr. Seuss Enterprises announced they'd be pulling the books, including And to Think That I Saw It on Mulberry Street, If I Ran the Zoo, and The Cat's Quizzer, saying that they portray people in ways that are hurtful and wrong. Seuss railed against isolationism, r racism, and anti Semitism with a conviction and a fervor lacking in most of the American editorial pages of the period. That quote came from the book Dr. Seuss Goes to War. Library director Jeffrey Johnston Ball says he will not be pulling the books from his shelves. This man knew what it was like to have controversy, to be inclusive of people. So what comes in these books we think should be a choice of the parents. In Northumberland, Nicole Rogers, 2822 Eyewitness News. And you can find the full list of the Dr. Seuss books that will no longer be published on pahomepage.com.